Now, given the number of dresses and skirts available, 5 is the 2. Alright. Now, it's given that 3 fifths of the dresses are sold. Alright. And for every 8 skirts sold, 3 skirts were unsold. Right. So, there will be, this is the total. Okay. There will be items sold. and items unsold now so if you notice that the skirts unsold was three for every three skirts unsold there will be eight skirts sold so the skirts that were sold was eight out of eleven all right so eight out of eleven that means that the total is eleven okay so changing the number of units for the number of skirts to a multiple of 11 by multiplying by 11. So this will give 22 units of skirts and 55 units of dresses. Okay, now we can continue to do the dresses. 3 fifths of the dresses were sold. So 3 fifths will represent 33 units. And 22 units of dresses will be remain. Similarly, the number of skirts was 22 units, so 8 skirts sold, so that will be 8 out of 11, alright, of this 22 units. So that means I yes, sold 16 units, okay, because 8 out of 11 times 22, 16 units. So 6 units of skirts were unsold. Now it's further given that the total amount collected okay, from the sales of the dresses and skirts is 20,300. Okay, since we know the ratio, okay, sales means those that are sold. So we look at the sold. Okay, the ratio of the dresses sold to the skirts sold was 33 is to 16. Okay, so taking out the sold dresses, the skirts, 33 to 16 all right let's group them up so one group it would have 33 dresses that would cost so much 33 times one one five dollars okay it includes the 16 skirts all right at 80 dollars each this will give you a total of five thousand and seventy five dollars okay so since the total sale is twenty thousand three hundred dollars okay we can just simply divide okay and we can easily get four groups. So the four groups represents groups of one group is 33 dresses and 16 skirts. So the separate amount, all right. So you can find the individual items, okay? The dresses cost so much. 33 times 115 dollars. All right. Okay, one group cost thirty three times one one five dollars. So four groups, a total of Okay, so the to dresses sales of all the dr the dresses sold four times four groups of thirty three times one hundred and fifteen dollars. All right. Gives us a total cost fifteen thousand one hundred and eighty. Similarly, for the skirts, sold 
would be 4 groups but within each group there are only 16 so 16 times $80 each total of $5,120 and I'm going to pass how much more was collected from the sales of the dresses? So the sales of the dresses sold will be 15,180 more than the skirts. Okay, so the required difference to find difference in the sales 15,180 minus 5,120. And the answer for part A will be $10,060. Okay, so since we know that three fifths of the dresses were sold, so part B asks how much would have been collected. Okay, that will be the total cost. Okay, since three fifths of the dresses were sold, therefore you collect. Okay, so for the dresses, three fifths of the dresses were sold, so three fifths of the dresses sales would be. Fifteen thousand one hundred eighty. Okay, it's given here. So the dresses sold fifteen thousand one hundred eighty accounts for three fifths of the dresses sold. So if we were to consider all would have been collected fifteen thousand one hundred eighty divided by three times five. So for the dresses, a total of $25,300 would have been collected. Okay, so similarly for the skirts, well, we know that the skirts, we sold out 8 out of 11. Okay, 3 skirts were unsold, so 3 out of 11 unsold. So the total sales of the skirts will be 11, the 11 units. Right? So from the skirt sold, this sales will account for the 8 out of 11 of the sales. 5,120. So if you were to sell all the skirts, alright, $7,040 would have been collected. So we have to sell everything together, dresses and skirts, so the total amount collected would have been $25,300 plus $7,040. A total of $32,340 would have been collected.